Oh, hi guys. It's Fabio with extensions. Pull my brush card out. <sighs> hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing awesome. Today's video is very exciting because I kind of tease this a little bit on Instagram and Twitter, but today I am collaborating with one of my favorite brands, ColourPop, and they are giving you guys 20% off all of my favorites. So what we've done is we, I have gone through and let them know what my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite ColourPop items are. We've created my very own landing page. My face is at the top. It's really exciting. On that page, you'll find all of my favorite ColourPop items from foundation to concealer to blush, contour, everything in between. And you guys will get to shop that at 20% off, which is absolutely amazing because ColourPop is already so affordable, which is one of the reasons why I love ColourPop. Not only is their product super high quality, super unique, super interesting, super fun, um, but it's also super affordable and it's not gonna break the bank to get these amazing pigmented, colorful, beautiful looks. Um, there's a gnat flying on my light. Excuse me one second. Call me the Nat Slayer. A long time ago when I was first starting out my YouTube channel, I got to, um, it's still there. I got to visit the ColourPop um, headquarters uh, and their factory and see how everything is created, how all the magic is done. I won't spill any of their secrets, but it is some pretty cool stuff. So it's very exciting to fast forward to now to be collaborating with them. So thank you to ColourPop for sponsoring this video and offering everybody 20% off. That's so um, amazing. I'm just really excited to see what you guys grab. Um, so I have created a very colorful look for you today. I was asking on Twitter, I was like, do you guys want to see like a really like kind of like a natural glam or like a colorful look? And y'all picked color. So are we shocked? Not really. On the landing page for that discount to get 20% off, you're going to be using this code right here. All of everything that I've used uh, that I'm using in this uh, tutorial will be linked in the description box below, but that is not all that you will find on that page. It, there will be even more stuff. I just literally can't fit all of my favorite color pop items like on my face at once. Like it's just not possible. Sadly, I have tried. I really have tried not in the middle of the screen, okay? I'm like looking at my monitor like Meh. To start off, um, I'm gonna be doing my eyes first as usual. Um, a lot of people still ask me on Instagram stuff, why do you do your eyes first? I like to do my eyes first because basically um, I don't like to stress out about getting fallout down on my base once that is done. I also, um, I just feel like it's just easier. Like it's easier to do my eyebrows. I get to put my hands on my face and touch my face and stuff. And then my foundation um, feels nice and fresh when I put it on at the very end. So I know that some of you don't like to do that and that's totally fine. No one is forcing you. Um, so if you wanna do this in the reverse, uh, then you can do that, whatever you'd like. For starters, we're gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. You guys know that this has been on my list of Holy Grail items for the base. I used it in my Holy Grail base a video, a, lo a little bit of this goes a really long way, so you don't need to get too crazy with it. Know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, that is not your color, but it is. It's um, actually just that my uh, face is a lot more pale than my body because I don't suntan that. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the No Filter ColourPop Setting Powder and I'm just, I'm not gonna like take a ton of that on there. I'm just gonna like lightly do a little itsy bitsy layer. For this eyeshadow look, I'm gonna mostly be using the single uh, Super Shock Shadows. Um, they come in these little guys. So I'm gonna be using most of those, but I do have some of my favorite, favorite palettes that are going on my little landing page too. So you can definitely check those out. Those are like my top of the 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 top, on top of the top of ColourPop. That's a lot of pops. So the shade I'm going in with is Don't Leave. And now I'm trying a little something new because I saw M -M 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 Mitchell um, do, I see the, him do this on his Instagram where he does the darker shade in the crease first and then builds on top of that. And that is not how I do my makeup. And my makeup, like I feel like could use a little refresh in its routine. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna try something new. And if this goes horribly, at least you guys are here with me. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to go kind of in the crease here, a little above. Oh, the shade is so pretty. 
I love me a good pink. Now I'm going in with Monkey Business. It's this really beautiful, super pigmented orange. And I'm gonna kind of layer that over this. Right there. And I'm going back over to Don't Leave, which is our super beautiful pink shade. And I'm just going to kind of reinforce that here and marry the two together. By the way, these eyeshadows look brand new. Like you're probably thinking to yourself, how is this your favorite? It's brand new. It is because ColourPop sent me a brand new set of everything that I wanted. So it looked nice and beautiful for you guys because my older ones, like, they look like they've been through Armageddon and back. Let me tell you what. Now I'm taking this, uh, this is Goodbye Butterfly. And this is kind of like a really nice nude peach that's got a little bit of a shine to it, which will be perfect for near the brow bone. Gonna leave that for now and move on. If we need to adjust anything later, I will do so. We're gonna move on to the lid. I'm taking um, a Q-tip and I'm just kind of like getting off the excess color that might just be sitting on top of the lid because I don't wanna blend that in. Going back to our concealer, I am just reinforcing our lid space. I'm going into my pressed eyeshadow palette here. This is like, you can actually build your own palette. This is some blush, some contour. Um, this is actually not a ColourPop magnetic palette, but they do have these and they're so affordable, especially with the 20% off. So I highly recommend you check them out. They're also pretty large, um, but I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. This is all ColourPop, by the way. This is, um, let me just throw it across the room. I'm gonna take that and lay that everywhere that I just placed concealer. We're not doing like a super hard cut crease either. So like, don't worry about getting that perfect if you don't. Mine's not perfect, but no one's gonna be able to tell when we're done. Next, this is one of my favorite things from ColourPop. I absolutely love this shade. This is the ColourPop Supernova eyeshadow and this one is in uh, Lucky Penny. Let me just swatch this for you on my very swatched up hand. It's just like so pretty. Now you have to be, you have to be careful with these. You have to use them sparingly. If you wipe too much, you're gonna remove what's underneath. And if you build up too much product, you are going to, I'm gonna get some of this on my finger. You are going to um, stack up the glitter and it's just not gonna work out super well. So you have to use it sparingly and just be patient with it. So I'm just gonna like place some of this right over the blue that we just did, just to add a bit of shimmer. Now for a tad bit of liner on the upper lash line and to pull out the like like blues and turquoises in this glitter right here, I'm taking Zoom Ship, which is like, look at that. Oh, it's like this gorgeous like turquoisey teal. It reminds me of like some beautiful tropical water in French Polynesia. I'm just going to take that right along the lash line and kind of stamp it into place. Oh my goodness, it matches my shirt. I guess I have to wear the shirt all day now. This like espresso is like as cold as a friggin' rock and I'm just like, give me the more. I put some lashes on and now we are moving on to base for now and then we're gonna pop back over to the under eye area. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop um, All-Star Matte Blur Primer. I like this because it feels like, like, a, um, like a really nice like lotion. For foundation, this is my absolute favorite foundation. Um, this is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I'm gonna be using it in two different shades and mixing the two together. This is medium 85 and light 60. So October is right around the corner and we have some new TV show. I'm like, love TV. Like, I watch TV like crazy. But um, Char a new Charmed is coming out, which I'm super excited about. Um, uh, what else are you guys excited about that's coming back in October? I feel like I feel like Santa Clarita Diet's got to come back in October too because it seems like a pretty October-y kind of TV show. If you guys haven't seen that, it's so freaking awesome. It's got Drew Barrymore in it. 
and she actually like is a zombie in it and it's kind of campy. It's just like super, super fun. I freaking love that show. This foundation just goes on really smoothly and it's got great coverage. I love how it feels too. It's not like oily, but it's not like super, super matte, like dry feeling. I just like love this stuff. A bit of the concealer under my eyes, this stuff. A little goes a long way, by the way. Like don't be painting like triangles underneath your eyes. Like you see on Instagram, you don't need that much. That's what's awesome about this stuff. So I'm just gonna pounce that in. Really, really good coverage too. And it like does not crease on you. I love how light this powder is, but it really does its job. Like it's, you don't need a, a ton of it for it to work. Then going back to our zoom ship, I'm going to be applying that in the lash line. Now going back down the colors that we did on the eye, I'm going back to monkey business, which is our orange. I'm going in right underneath it. Then I'm gonna take Don't Leave and layer that in there too. Then I'm gonna take Goodbye Butterfly and soften this edge up a little bit. To add a bit of highlight into the inner corner, I'm taking the Super Shock Cheek in Hippo. This is like so like iridescent. It's so freaking pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed. And we are back for some brow action. <clears throat> Chet, are you in there? If you don't know who Chet is, it's Chet's my frog. Um, I have a I have an animal channel in case you, you know, like animals and want to see him. He's real cute. So for brows, I'm going to use two different items today. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Brow Boss. It looks like this. It's got a really fine tip so you can get those nice little fake hairs. Oh shoot, I'm dropping things. Like I like to do. And I'm also going to use a uh, dope toe. Oh, this one's in what shade is this that I use? This one's in uh, blonde and this is also dope taupe. This is their brow gel. I like to use both of these kind of simultaneously. Some days I feel like using one more than the other, but they both work really well. First, I'm going to be using the brow gel to create a really nice line underneath the brow. What I meant by line underneath the brow was like the bottom of the brow. Then I'm going in with the brow pencil here and I'm just gonna draw in some hairs. Oh my gosh, you guys hear my stomach? We're gonna be doing a little bit of contour with Private Party, this is one of the ones that magnetizes into the palette. Um, by the way, I wanted to make sure to include everybody in the 20% off, so you will find on my landing page um, multiple shades of contour, so that no matter what your skin tone is, you are covered and you're getting 20% off. So don't worry, it's not just that shade. I love this shade because it's like, it's not too warm and it's not too cool, it's like the perfect it's the perfect shade, like whether you're super pale or just have a slight, like mini tan, like me. Like I don't have much of a tan, but a little bit. I was at the movies the other day and I saw Crazy Rich Asians. By the way, if you haven't seen that, go see it. It's like so good. I thought it was gonna be like super predictable, but like there were some things that I like did not expect to happen in it. And it was like <laughs> so funny. I also saw when I went to go see Crazy Rich Asians, that um, there's a Goosebumps 2 coming out, which I'm excited about. Um, the, f the first one was like, like it had Jack Black in it. It was like a little bit cheesy, but still pretty good. Like it's Goosebumps, like I grew up with that. I need some more like, are you afraid of the dark though? Like who remembers those? I'm gonna contour my schnozzola a little bit. For blush, I'm gonna be using Why Hello. 
I love the shade. It's like nice and peachy. Kind of goes with any makeup look. So I'm gonna pop this on. It's like the perfect blush shade. Just like knocked over 17 things on my desk. To show you guys a little bit of variety in the highlight category, I'm gonna be going in with Showtime. This is a sh super, super shock cheek. That's like a tongue twister. We're gonna be using that. I'm using the back of my beauty blender and just pouncing that into the skin. This one has like a nice pink sheen to it, so I think it's gonna go with the hot pink real well. It was so hard to decide what shade I wanted to do with this look because I love so many ColourPop shades. They have like light lavender, light pinks, like beautiful shades. So I'm gonna show you two of their products that are my absolute favorite. And I don't mean shades necessarily, just the product itself, which you will find on my landing page. So these ColourPop lipsticks like this are some of my absolute favorite lipsticks. I love these to death. I wear them very often. And then also the ultra satin lip that looks like this. And this is the one we're going to use today. This is in shade Echo Park. I'm just gonna overdraw the absolute shit out of my lips with this. Here we are. Here is the final look. I did my hair for you guys. Like kind of like the back looks like real not good and then the front is like we're decent we could go in public that's usually how i do on youtube like i'm even wearing pajama pants well actually hell this, this is pjs too put some fancy earrings on it we're all good to go hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh tutorial on this super colorful look and hopefully you guys can explore um my favorite color pop items and find some of your new favorites too and hopefully you love them as much as i do um, and you'll see exactly why I put them on there for you guys to discover. Let me know what your favorite ColourPop items are down in the comments below. Let me know if you grab anything with 20% off. Again, here is the code on the screen right here. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, foxes.